driving on the open road. Drive. Old Y Pro on, and uh, this is uh, I've turned the radio off, I've turned the sat nav off. I, I know the way to get home anyway, the sat nav's just got a little bit of power left in it, but I know the way. I've got 28 miles to get home, 40 minutes. Will the battery last long enough for me to get home? Will it happen? Will it, will it happen? Will it happen? Who knows? I've, I've gone on, off the A34 because so that would be a dangerous place to conk out and that would be the M4, that would be a nightmare on the motorway. I'm going to go along the A30 and then all the way to uh, Basel Stoke and then cut up through there and um, and see what happens like, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, well, I mean, what can we do? Oh, just one, one thing I wanted was not, not the van to go wrong in the new year as I've had to uh, lend someone uh, in my family all the money I had in the bank <laughs> to get them through uh, a bit of a tricky situation. So I wanted to earn some money and it's, fuck, it's pay your tax this month. I've literally got nothing in the bank for the first time in a while. Well, not that, well, not that long, long ago, but yeah. Have I left it on and just not worried about it? I think I have for ages, like, you know what I mean? I think I've done that before. And then, um, it's happened, happened to me quite a lot of times, but it's quite a long time ago. Also, Nate, that's not a big job. Get that in, get it done, and get back on the road, but it looks like another week off work, which is crazy. You know what I mean? Um, then I'll, I'll have no more money coming in. I'll have to go and borrow some money off somebody. Oh dear. It is first world problems, I know, I know. But it is a, it's, it is a problem happening to me at this precise moment. So it means something, you know what I mean? So, you know, we could all laugh about it, so it doesn't matter, but it is a bit stressful. But, you know, and yes, I could die because I could park up and someone could hit me. And I could die. So yes, you can die from it. Before I say, well, no one's gonna die. They could. Anyway. 26 miles, we've done another two. 26 miles, Christ. If I'd have pulled over straight away, I could have saved eight miles. If I get within eight miles of being home, I'll go crazy. I'll go ridiculous. I'll beat myself up for years, you know what I mean? If I hadn't done that job yesterday, then I would have had another 12 miles, 15 miles in the tank. So I probably would have got home or got to the job, even, and got it on board, then got back. Um, nah, that was, the stress of doing that would have been ridiculous, and I could have cocked it up. I had to make a decision there. It wasn't a massive job, it wasn't like I was halfway out of the country. But ironically, the last time my van, when my last van blew up, that was on a job for the same company. So that's kind of uh, a bit weird. But there you go, right, let's not get on the, let's not get back on the A34, but go back. And we've got to do some eco driving here now. I don't know, actually, that's just fuel, isn't it? Battery, you don't use up more battery by driving hard and fast, do you? I suppose you would, you do. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it makes much difference. To be honest with you, I'm up against miles here. Um, I'm up against tide tonight, surely. I'm up against miles on time. If I put my foot down, will I get there quicker? Because the battery will run out after time? I think so. So I think I'll just drive on. I think I'll drive at the speed limit, like always. But I think I will motor it. Um, but it's bad to use more power, isn't it? <laughs> this is, I might be a really thick here. Oh my God, this is where I need to phone James O'Brien's mystery hour on the road. Because I could ask him that question. And I, I nearly went back to fucking Newbury there. Right, okay, we're on the A303. Okay, this is a, this is a dangerous road to, to break down on. There's no hard shoulder. Um, it's a main road, but if I can just get this bit out of the way, even if I'll get this bit out of the way, and then get onto the A30 towards Basel. So how long have we got? Oh, shit. Oh, no, 30 miles. No, that's to the, uh, that's off the M3. I'm not gonna go that way. Right, let's just, let's just go. Lights are still going. I've got the, I can't turn the fucking stereo off properly. It's on fucking standby. It just doesn't turn off properly. You know what I mean? I don't think it does this button, man. Stupid fucking stereo. Oh. Coasting it here. Right. Last thing you want to do, I'm not going to go on the M3 even though it's quicker because the last thing you want to do is break down the motorway. That is just a nightmare. You've got to sit outside the van, got cars flying past. Although the, the, the AA will come out quicker to you because you're uh, obviously in a place of danger. So maybe, but um, yeah, um, right, I reckon we just coached it. 24 miles, number two done. 
here we go, half an hour to go. Um, can we get there? I mean, what a shit day. What a shit start to the new year. Why couldn't this come on when I was doing that crappy little job yesterday? Then I could have could have sorted it, like, you know what I mean? Knocking. I had some knocking the other day, I was going to get it checked out. Why didn't I just get it checked out? But it went away, the knocking. But then, you know, you should always get it. You should always get your van checked out if there's some knocking. You know what I mean? Anyway, we have to look forward. Can't hold on to the past, hold on to them things. I didn't do those things and uh, I might live to regret it, but also things might work out okay because I could get home and we could get it looked at, could get back on the road by tomorrow, which would be amazing. There's probably going to be no work today anyway because it's crap and no one's back really. There's nothing going on. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. All I know is it's going to be a big bill for me. It's going to be a, 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 a write-off week again. And uh, what can you do? It's life. It kicks you when you're down, life. Actually, it kicks you when you're up as well. It just kicks your life. <laughs> I, haven't I haven't tried this uh, camera out, so maybe I'll put it there. That's better, haven't it? Maybe that's a bit nearer, yeah. Okay, so we're rocking and rolling. I don't even know if it's recorded, I haven't really checked it out properly. I bought it ages ago, kept forgetting about it. And then now, then I just realised there was an SD card on it as well, so I stuck it in. And uh, then I forgot to video the, um, the job I did yesterday. Or, um, I got a call from um, someone I used to use when I used to have a van and man sort of thing going. So can you clear some garden away just in place? I sent me a photo, I looked at it, I thought, oh, that looks like nothing. I'll clear that up. If I can't get in the dump to put it in there, I'll um, just put it in my garden and take it another time got there it was ridiculous it was at least two at least two van loads probably more no it was probably you probably could have crammed it in one and a half but, or, but yeah anyway so i filled my van up to capacity took it away from him got paid a bit bit of a uh, bit for it which is fine um and he's a friend so it wasn't like i was you know i wasn't like breaking the law by transferring waste or anything but um i thought i'd do it and then i thought oh my god where am i going to put this so i, I, I took it to be house and it just filled up the front bit of my garage i thought well i'll just dump it there and then <laughs> we'll sort it out another time, just burn it gradually. Um, no, um, yeah, so that was a mad. I forgot to video it, it was just so funny. Oh, poor old, poor old, uh, my lodger came out with me. Oh no, oh, I thought the bloody traffic was gonna come here, that would have been a nightmare, it's just a slow moving lorry. Thank God for that. Oh God, I just managed to stuck in a traffic jam and just cocked out like the soft verges here as well, sink into a gully and be trapped forever in Overton wherever, Mitch, Mitch and Dallas service station. Ooh. I'll tell you what, I'm coming up to the motorway bit. If I can get on the motorway, if I can just do that little bit of the motorway, it's only gonna be about four or five miles. And if I can whack that out, and then get up, get up. I don't wanna jump, oh, I really don't wanna break down the base though, either. Oh my God. Um, if I can get to that hooked, if I can get to the hook junction, and turn off there, then I'm on the way out. And then any breaking down there, even though it's country lanes, is um, it's great. Oh my god, dilemmas, 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 dilemmas. Services here. Park up there and wait. Oh my god. I've got everything off. Everything off. I've got everything turned off that I can. Lights, everything. Yeah, action. Lights in here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Twenty miles. We whacked out a few now. My theory of driving fast is, is is time. We're up against time rather than miles. That's my theory. I mean, obviously you're going to be using more power, aren't you? When you're going fast, but you're going to be using it anyway when you're going slow. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Oh, if I just had that job aboard, I could have just put my head down and gone. You know what I mean? Then I wouldn't wouldn't have had any dilemmas to make. I would have been heading home as far as I could get. And drop it off. But anyway, anyway, this isn't the biggest. It's, if the engine warning light had come on, something was really going. Like when my van blew up that time, and that was it. The van could poo. And uh, I've got the money to buy a van at the moment, so I have to lease one, which is which is an option. But you know there are problems with that. So um, yeah, we don't need a new van. I mean, we're on we're on, we're over 200k here, and things will start to go wrong. That is the fact, that isn't a fact, that is a fact, but, um, yeah, we will conquer out of power. I mean, it's gonna happen. We've got 
28, we're down to 19, we've got 28 minutes to get home. And that's going up, that's going up number six, that's going up through Bay State. I think I'm going to go that way because I, I reckon, I reckon I'm going to risk the M4 for four miles. Uh, M3 for four miles. I'm going to risk it for M, M for three for four miles, whatever it is. I don't know, 6.5 to, to Bay State Junction, but I'm coming onto it now, fuck it. Oh, I've done it anyway. Oh, what a prat. I've gone past the turning off the A30 anyway. I've got to go on the motorway. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, we <laughs> could come off at the first junction, junction five. Um, or I could come off at, um, I could get enough momentum and get into the middle lanes and that, because then if I, if I do conk out, I could come down. Surely it's going to start fading. I'm going to see the lights fading. I'm going to see things just go blah, 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 for a while, aren't I? Surely. Anyway, I'm on the M3 now. Yeah, right, without meaning, meaning to do it. I look, well, look, it's a bit good when decisions are made for you. Oh my god, isn't that great? A little patriarch engine you are. Thank you, Mr. Father Figure, for making a decision for me. Thank you very much. I don't want to think for myself. I want things to be done for me. Oh my god. Right, okay. Okay, we're in the we've gone from the fast lane into the middle lane. We're sitting here. Imagine I've got pulled over for like middle lane hogging or something. I mean, I mean, it'd be a good excuse, probably get away with it, but probably conk out while the police were there. Oh, but then they could give me a lift, they could probably give it, have to give me a lift home. Not home, but off, off the motorway, so that'd be alright. I'm not, yeah, I'm going to go past Junction 7, I'm going to go for Junction 6. I'm going to go for Junction 6. I'm going to go for Junction 6, yes, we're going to go for Junction 6. Okay. Right, um, okay, right, so yeah, we're carrying on. We've got everything unplugged. Radio's down. I really want to listen to the radio. That would help me a lot. But um, obviously, the radio um, needs power. Even though it's probably... F oh shit! Oh no, it's gone on standby mode. Yeah, eco mode. Oh, that's good. I think. I thought it. Caught, I thought it started to conk out. That would be a real problem. So I'd know my power was running out. Oh my god! It's four and a half miles to junction six. I'm on the M3. This is a nightmare. If I break down on the on the motorway, it's an absolute. F it's an actual killer. It's dangerous. Um, you, start, you have to stand outside your van, you know, you, I mean, you should do that anyway, but I mean, on the motorway you've got to do it, because you know, you're in danger in your life, and it's cold. Although I have got some survival suits and a sleeping bag, and I've got a big coat on, and some blankets in the back, so I'll be fine. I haven't got any food for once, I didn't make any sandwiches, because I've eaten too much over Christmas, so I didn't bring any sandwiches. I just had two bananas today, and uh, I've got some apple juice, which is, uh, which I'll drink now, even though it's sort of, um, getting a bit acidy in my stomach. Obviously for the anxiety is rising. From the fact that I might break down. But if I got home, 16 miles, Jesus. That six extra miles I did by going past that junction when the uh, battery light came on. Is that gonna come back to haunt me? Is that gonna come back to destroy me? <laughs> destroy my life? No, um, it might not. Positive thinking. If you think positively, positive things happen to you. Three miles to Junction 6. Three miles to Junction 6. Three miles to Junction 6. Oh my God. Break down, break down. Oh my God, no. Oh, I, felt, oh no. I hit the, uh, it's, 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 uh, this van's restricted to 70 miles an hour. So I hit the restrict. Every time you hit that, it goes Rrr. I thought that was it. The van can't get out, sort of thing. I mean, if I knew that power, I could coast this going down the hill, like not put the, oh yeah, you've got, to have pa you've got to have some sort of electrical power to accelerate, haven't you? So don't accelerate. So if I hold that, it should be all right. If I just coast that, great. Okay, I'm working this out, I go, on the fly, on the hoof, on the roll, on the way to break down. Should do this really, but you know, there we go. We are on the M3. Okay, right, so. I hope the audio's on this. Fuck, I bet it's not. Bollocks! I haven't checked it out, man. Why would you not have the audio on a on a on a, uh, on a camera? You would. I mean, I'm gonna check it back. Okay. Right, let's oh, like this out. This is great. Fucking. Well, it's not really okay. No one's gonna watch it anyway. Um. Okay. Junction six or junction five? Do I go for? Do you know what? I'm going to come off for Junction 6. Because even though it'd be a nightmare getting stuck for a base stoke, the A33 is probably just as bad as the other roads, to be honest with you. Because it's a main road, 
but if you break the single lane, single lanes everywhere, and that's a country lane, that'd be even more dangerous, it's got more twists and turns on it, innit? And I could sort of get through Basingstoke. Ironically, I think my lunch is in Basingstoke, but, and I would normally pick him up, but I haven't got the time to pick him up, mate. Imagine, I went, I went I'll pick you up, mate, yeah, great, and then he cogged out. You know what I mean? I might throw it eventually. I don't know where he is. No, he'd have to go home for work anyway, ain't he? Let's take this line. I don't know what you're doing about it, you're going to miss junctions. I've done junction six, I've come off with junction six, it's the quickest time. It's the rolling, rolling. It's rolling and rolling. It's rolling and rolling and rolling. Alright, okay. 